How's it going everyone? Today we have another repair video on my Saab 9.5 wagon. Now we're not going to be trying to fix the turbo glowing issue today, mainly because I think that issue has partially been solved, but to be completely honest, this car hasn't been getting driven at all. So what I want to do today um, is one kind of hint at the fact that I will probably be selling it here very soon. Um, hopefully after this oil leak is fixed and I wrap up a couple other little things. It's a project that I bought that was a car destined for a junkyard that I have put uh, hundreds of hours of both my time and my friend's time and more money than I like to admit into but it's a project that has reached like 85% completion and I think it's time for someone else to take it that last step to being a truly great car but I will make an entire separate video talking about selling this car but if you do happen to be interested we could talk ahead of time now please DM me on Instagram though I am located in Phoenix Arizona so keep that in mind but yeah without further ado let's go ahead and get into this video where today we're going to be replacing two parts to hopefully fix this oil leak the first one being the front crankshaft seal this one is uh, not going to be too fun if I'm being completely honest and this next one is the oil pump o-ring. They are both kind of in the same spot as far as I know, at least from looking at diagrams on East Saab parts, and they're both somewhat common failure points on these cars. They're both gonna be behind this front wheel. We're gonna have to take that off, take the fender liner out. We're gonna have to take this top motor mount out and take the belt off so we can take the front crank off. And then it shouldn't be too much work after that. But without further ado, let's go ahead, get into this and uh, fix this oil leak because this car has left that much oil in the last uh, month or so. Pretty good amount. It's A lot of it's dried up now, but yeah, let's get this thing fixed. So I have the car jacked up. The wheel is off. Now we can go ahead and remove this bracket for this motor mount right here. Now I'm just going to put some weight uh, from the jack on the oil pan just to prevent the engine from dropping down too much. So if I put a half inch extension in here, pull on it, I can take the tension off the belt and slip it off one of these accessories. Wow, beautiful. Seems like it hasn't been off in a long time. <laughs> Power tools, huh? Oh yeah. So is what you said a 27? 27, big boy. <laughs> pull Pulling that, that right off there. So, I don't know, it's pretty clean. Yeah. Toss that down. And then all we're gonna do here is get that snap ring on. So there's a snap ring around the outside here. We're gonna do that. It, dude, you know what, this looks like it was replaced. See how dry that is? That looks fine. I think it's the oil. The oil pump o-ring? It's cause, probably just that. Cause I have that. That's honestly a lot easier to do. All right, so where's the oil pump o-ring at? I know it's somewhere yeah, you, back you here. you take the snap ring off and then you pull the whole ah. thing out and it's around that little unit, that guy. Gotcha. See, so this is yeah. why I listen to Lucas. Yeah. Because that crank seal looks, looks like it's brand new. Yep. Uh, you can see it's leaking oil all over the suspension down here and everything. <laughs> no, it's pretty brutal. The alternator doesn't look like it's having too much fun back up there. Yeah, so but, you yeah. probably replace that and yeah. then replace the uh, the O-ring. That would make sense. Housing, so. so like Lucas said, we're going to pop this snap ring off and uh, I guess do the oil. Oh, pump o-ring. Oh, dude, didn't even need me. Oh, oh yeah, bud. Beautifully done. Oh, there you go. Oh. So look at that. Oh, sorry. No, you're good. Let me get that o is shot. It's tripping right on the jack. I put oh, the yeah. jack in the worst spot. <laughs> so that o-ring is... Uh, Pretty shot, completely flat. So this is where if you were doing the crank seal, you would pop that out with a flathead or something. Yeah, something. 
Because there's some metal inside that, so it can be difficult. Oh yeah, you got one? Yeah, so if you want to pull that crank seal out, you'd use something like a, a seal puller, and it would just pop right on out of there. All right. Bit of a mess. Looks like Lucas said, uh, clean up that surrounding area. Make sure there's nothing weird in there. Here's the part number for the new one. I got this on Aesop Parts. Very cheap. Shout out to Anthony and Matt. Yeah. Keeping our cars on the road. Ah. Unfortunately. <laughs> so is there a certain orientation this has to be in or you just yep. slap it in? So there's going to be an arrow on it. And uh -huh. it's going to line up with another arrow. Right there on the oil pump. Okay. So you essentially just make sure those are lined up and they have to be perfectly lined up. Oh, gotcha. In order to not have any leaks or anything like that. It's gonna be hard to get on camera without zooming in super far, but there's an arrow right where he's wiping. Right there. And then there's a tiny one on there as well. So those would line right up like that. But I'm gonna just clean up this yeah, area. Let's go ahead and toss that back in. Just kind of push the top in if you would. Yep, just like that. Got it? Yeah. First try. Look at that. Nicely done. Snap right, guys in there. So that's properly installed. Gotta put the uh, thing that makes the engine run back on though. Oh yeah. And I'd recommend cleaning this. Just belt off. Oh yeah, get the belt off. Oil. Good tip. It nice. looks like brand new. Kind of magic you working back oh, there. You know, the old Lucas oil shine up. <laughs> How's that look? Beautiful. Good for you. So that has There's a little the... notch there, and I guess you know it's pretty straightforward. You'll see the notch right there. Right cool. There on the crank. There you go. Just like that, guys. Put my torque gun on uh, the second torque setting. There you go. He put he did, doesn't have it the whole way up like 300 foot pounds. It's not that much. Should be alright. Beautiful. So now we'll just reinstall the belt. Yeah. So upper motor mount bracket. Everything in reverse order. Car is all back together. We're gonna flip off the light here. We're gonna take it for a test drive. Lucas had the idea of ripping his hatch around for some content. So. I'm always down for that, but cars move back out. Uh, yeah, he's, he knows I'm filming. It's very windy out, but uh, we're gonna go have a little bit of fun. This thing is pretty cool. Make sure you guys follow him on Instagram once again. But uh, let's, let's go for a ride. Oh yeah, you see that window in there? Oh, there's a window here, listen to this. Oh yeah. <laughs> man, oh man. Backfires so much, dude. You guys aren't ready. Yeah. <laughs> Trying to be respectful here. Still do the gunshots? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Hold on one second. So I think that's gonna wrap up this video. Just got back from ripping his hatch around. Big thanks again to Lucas for uh, helping me out with this. We're gonna check his fluids real quick though. Gotta get a, uh, a funnel for him. Yeah, this one should do right here. But yeah, if you guys enjoyed this video, finally a video, it seems like none of my videos end on positive notes anymore. It's just a big depressing channel. It's like watching the keto avocado, except I'm not eating myself to death. The keto avocado, I can't even say names right. I'm. Uh, I'm having a stroke or something, but uh, thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up. I think I already said that. This is getting really bad. Bye.